What's up guys, King of the North, back with some more Metroid Dread. Last episode, we got the grappling hook and made it to Varenia here and encountered Quiet Robe, who uh, is a scientist for the area, who works for Raven Beak. Uh, he was assassinated in the middle of talking to us that led to a pretty uh, hectic boss battle if it's your first time doing it. But before he died, he opened up this area in Barinia for us. This gate here lifted up. We have access to these two areas now, so that's where we're going to be heading. I do have to figure out how the hell... Oh yeah, that's right. We have a grappling hook. So it's not all that complicated. Do this. Oh man, I'm gonna have to reload this and just jump. I was gonna try to power all the way up there, but all good. So I believe this is another crazy kind of jump here for this, which we will come back to. Actually, I'm gonna have to head down. And these are the on the other side we're gonna have to do it I will give it a quick go oh, it would help if I open the door right I'll give it a couple attempts I'm not gonna go wild for this just yet yeah I'm not gonna be able to do it I don't think hit the door Alright, we got it. Timing on that is a little finicky. So it'll probably take a couple of attempts. But that's how you want to do it. Heading back down to Daron. We'll have to take a port from here over to uh, the other location. I'm sure we'll encounter some new things going on in this location though. Everything tends to change after you uh, hit major points. So just keep an eye out. Okay. Nothing to pop there. Nothing to pop here. Ah, uh, Adam wants to talk to us. Okay. Uploading data. Our Pope friend has explained much. We now know why the enemy are pursuing you. Sam is Aaron. Raven beat more you here. He wants the Metroid DNA that exists only within you. I have confirmed that Quiet Rogue has deactivated all remaining enemy. You should now be able to reach the surface unthreatened. The route Quiet Rogue opened is in Derenia. Return there immediately. Destination is fine. But we already knew that. Which one do we take though? Uh, probably the top one. Yes. No. It's the easiest one to get to. I should, can I remove this? Let's, let's get rid of it. Yeah, we do want to head down. of these guys for the most part. Oh my god. I will get better at countering. Um, it has a little bit more of a wind-up animation than some of the other enemies. Uh, this is not going to heal me, so I'm not... Huh? Okay, we're 
going to... Uh... Alright, let's just take the bottom one. It's the path I'm on. Hold up. I'm guessing this became accessible after I knocked down the walls here. Hopefully entering through this port will be okay. Hopefully it won't be I think it's a big deal that this is here. Okay, this area above us is a section that just got unlocked thanks to quiet. Not it. I guess. I there was an up there. There still could be. I, I might have botched. I would shoot. Get these jumps together. I see that's obviously glowing in that area, so... Okay, hey, and we'll officially have our map for this area. I think that stays gone forever. Looks like it's staying away. Oh, yeah. Another ten rockets. using rockets because I my first playthrough I barely used rockets I just spam the hell out of the laser <laughs> and I realized too like I had so many I could have just been way more damage they shoot slower but that's all right they do a lot more damage
love the background in this area. Just seeing the rain, the storm raging, the sea in the background. It's incredible looking. Gonna have some crazy platforming to come up in a second. Something I'm not super green at. I'm gonna do my best. Might need to kill the guys in the shoe. Alright. Managed to get that. Flipped on that. Have ourselves another boss fight. This is actually one of my favorite boss fights in the game, probably. I think it's a pretty cool fight. It might take me a couple tries, but overall, I think it's a cool fight. Uh, it took me a while to understand the mechanics. I did not pay attention to that right there, and um, that is incredibly important. Uh, destroying those little blue orbs will grant you more rockets. They give you plenty of rockets for this fight because they are very needed. So you want to grab this after draining the water. Because if you don't drain the water, uh, that elevator thing moves incredibly slow. And just head back. Oh, I got hit by the... Thing. All right, it can't take any damage right now. Also, you gotta watch out for the sweeps here. I guess I think we're going to be stuck on this side, which might not be good. Yeah, I want to get back on this side. <laughs> you can just shoot with lasers. I think it does have its own independent H health box. It's probably better to use some rockets on this one possible. So we got to watch out for your sweeps here. Yeah, I'm not as familiar with the timing of the sweeps on this side. One shot. Mistake, and I think all these platform, yeah, all these platform give out on. I cannot do this uh, item just yet. We still need another upgrade before we can grab that. Oh, 
Oh, that whole thing's gonna give out. Okay. We have a save room here. Let me check down here one before we go. Wanna top off? Take a look at map real quick as well. Yeah, this area, except for the bottom here, has largely been explored. We do not have great tools and equipment to do that just yet. At this point I gotta kill these guys again. You jerk. All right. Um, I think uh, I think should, I, I'll call this an episode here. I think that boss fight is a good enough spot to cut it here. I believe we are going to be picking up some an ability or two maybe in the next episode. Uh, I know they do kind of throw some at you. Like back to back, so hopefully uh, that'll be the next area because we are um, we are definitely becoming more um, sustainable, I guess we could say, uh, able to defend ourselves a bit. So for now, feel free to like, comment, consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed to the channel. It's appreciated. I'll catch you all in the next episode of Dread. Peace.